It is an all-cash sale to Alexander and Baldwin for nearly a hundred million dollars, and to residents putting up with the statues and those overgrown lawns, it is pure gold. KITV Four's Andrew Pereira has our top story tonight at six. Andrew. Yeah, and G. Paula A and B says it will clean up the properties it purchased from Kawamoto, but the eccentric billionaire is not leaving Kahala entirely. Kahala Avenue is all about ritz and glitz, but when Genshiro Kawamoto moved in, like only a billionaire could. Residents say that image was tarnished. With total bad intention, trashes the property, blights them, tears down these, these once gorgeous homes. 31 Kahala properties owned by Kawamoto were still attractive enough to grab the attention of Alexander and Baldwin. The company purchased the lots for $98 million and right now has no plans to request a zoning change or transform the character of the neighborhood. Well, our primary plan is to clean up the lots, uh, make them ready for sale and for development of homes. In most cases, we will most likely sell the lots uh, to third parties to, uh, to build their own homes or even to builders to build homes. Since 2005, the city levied about $53,000 in fines against Kawamoto because of trash, debris, and overgrown weeds. However, many believe the billionaire showed heart when he allowed families down on their luck to live on his properties. Three of those families will be allowed to stay until their lease expires next March. We will also work with them to find homes that they can transition into uh, either at that time or sooner. Alexander and Baldwin says Kawamoto is keeping one home along Kahala Avenue, this house with the blue roof. And as you can see, the billionaire's eccentricity is on full display. And although Kahala residents are happy to say sayonara to Kawamoto, they say if this situation ever happens again, they hope the city will take more aggressive action. If it does, I would hope that the city would be more vigilant and, and, and act forcefully right from the beginning. For Kahala, Kawamoto's sale to A and B marks the end of an era, but one that has at least one resident a bit melancholy. It added a little zest to a, to the district and the area, and I enjoyed every moment of it. With the purchase, A and B now owns nearly 90 percent of the available lots along Kahala Avenue. The company says it remains very bullish on the Hawaii real estate market. We'll send it back to you.